Lockport Central Schools will start using facial recognition technology, but a lot of people don't think it's a good idea. Channel 2's Jackie Roberts went to get answers from the district. On Monday, Lockport City Schools will become the first district in western New York to use facial recognition software. This immediately prompted some concern about student privacy. And now the state education department is hoping they delay that start, telling us in a statement today, the department is in contact with the district. We have made it clear the department has not approved the testing of the system planned for next week. And we told the district not to commence the testing of the technology until we receive information that assures us that student information will be properly protected. Officials with the district refused to do an on-camera interview and they would not allow me to record our conversation. But they did tell me over the phone that the state already approved these plans a few years ago through their Smart Schools Bond application. Officials with the district say they are not fully implementing the system at this point, but they do plan to proceed with the initial implementation on Monday. They also say the cameras don't record. Instead, they match faces and objects with what's already in the database, which for this first phase is only made up of level two and three sex offenders. That means no student data is expected to be generated in this part of the process. The superintendent says this is about saving lives and keeping people safe. However, a professor at UB who's done extensive research on school security says there could be negative impacts. The broadest generalization I can draw about expensive security measures is that it's all, do it's all done by opinion and fear, but not, not by any hard data. Representatives with the district say in general they've had support from the community. And school officials tell us they plan to fully cooperate and communicate with the state. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.